in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can bring the water network data from the water jams to the open road design. First, here we have um, the water network models. And then what we will have to do is we have to go to the facet table. So over here, go to wheel. And then we have the facet table. It is quite similar to the facet table in the Open Row Designer. So I just open the facet table dynamic, and then I will have to click the knock table one by one. So I will click this junctions knock. So it's those points junctions in the water networks. And then over here, um, you have to set up all the information you will need to bring to the open row designer. You can add all the column you require for um, using in the open row designer in this facet table. After finishing that, you can just go to export. And then you can just find somewhere to place your data, just like here. And then I will just name it EPS junctions. So I will have saved the shift file. Over here, it's you can rename those um, shift file field names over here. And then we will have to do for the other knock as well. So here we have the tent. I just export it. And also for the west server. as well as the pump data. So you have to export each type of water network nodes individually because those information they are carrying are different. So I will recommend that you separate different shape file for them. And then last but not least is this pipe table. Just export it. Shift file and then select pipe. So let's see. So I have one that is too long for converting. So just rename it. One more stop. Like, yeah. Sometimes if your column name may be too long for uh, export to the shift file, you just have to rename it in that dialog. And then we should have everything over here in our file explorer you see that all the shift files so i will now go to the open row designer so here in the open row designer i have new a 2d dgn and then i have also created um the uh, what uh, su data database over here by only clicking any SUE tools in the Open Road Designer. And then now I'm going to show you how I can import those water jam data to the Open Road Designer by going to this um, tools. In the tools, in the general tools, we will use the model builder. So for model builder, for the water network, we will use um, to import the data 
for the data type of subsurface utility. And then we are going to need a model builder um, import file. Over here, you can select the S3 shift file and then you can browse all the shift file you export it. And then we can go to next, adjust the coordinate um, units. And then from here, we are in the mapping page. So for each shift file, we are going to map it for the type of element it is. So for our case, it is the water node. And then the key field is the, uh, for example, this one is the label. So it is kind of the node name. And then for the X and Y, because we are using the shift file, so those are auto. And then most important field is the elevation. So we need the heights for those um, water node. So I have two elevation over here. One is the ground level, one is the inward level. Both. So I just align them to those elevation fields for my water node. And then, yes, and then I can go to next to the pipes and then select it. It is a water segment and then the key view is the label. And then D, we first is diameter. And also, uh, okay, over here we ha have to map it to the start node. Stop node. And also material. So we can always go to this P view tab to take a look of the data inside the shift file for my mapping. So I'm using this. This is the NOC name, so it is called what I can use it to map my pipe. And then I'm going to next NOC the pump. So I'm also defined it as the water NOC and then select over here is the labels. The elevations, top elevation. That's it. Okay, over here is also the elevations, top elevations, and then what to not and label. Last is over here it's the tank so i define the maximum elevation as the elevation top and minimum elevations as the elevation bottoms and also i use the what to not key fill is the label as well so kind of doing all the mapping to those properties um, in the open road designer and then we can go to next Select the default feature definitions for those um ship each of the shift files. So um for the junctions I may use water well pirates I will use water salmon use um the the tau irons and then for the palm I may just use the meter. This one I will use meter as well, the tens as well. So just select some feature definition for those nook. And then we can go to finish and then let it build a model for us. We have to close all the dialogues so that it will build a model. Like that. And then we can open the 3D wheel to take a look. 